you're looking at the notes that I put together for periodic table questions that show up on the New York State Chemistry Regents exams. This list was generated from looking at the 2015 Regents questions. Take a look. Notice, once again, we're dealing with a lot of vocabulary, just like with atomic structure. There's a lot of facts that you need to know. Make sure you know them. Make sure you memorize them. Practice questions. You're going to see these over and over again. Also, you want to be able to determine valence electrons. Remember your outermost electrons in an atom or for a group of atoms, looking at the periodic table. And you want to make sure that you use reference table S whenever you can to look at periodic trends. Um, and also, it has the name that goes along with the symbol or the symbol that goes along with the name. Don't skip steps. Don't think you know it well enough. Take the time when you're taking this Regents exam to make sure that you go over everything. Also, make sure you know where your semi-metals are, right in the middle of the table, and you have your metals to the left, your non-metals to the right, know all the properties, etc., etc. I'm not giving you all the notes here. I'm giving you what you need to go and find yourself. When you do it on your own, then you're going to remember it. Don't just do any of these questions off the top of your head. Make sure that you've looked them up, you've studied the list, you know the facts, and then go back and practice the questions again and over again if you need to. You can do this, but the key word here is you. You have to put the time into it. Work hard and good luck.